Collaborate and listen. Oh God, um, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm seriously <laughs> mentally divergent at the moment. <laughs> you know, these things happen. They happen to the best of them. Send Anyways, help. welcome to the second scheduled Saturday Power Hour here on Real Liberty Media. We're here Barely. to. <laughs> um, take names and kick ass. I mean, take ass think, and kick uh, names. I, th- I was gonna say. I think you said that backwards. I, I I was trying to say it backwards, and I had a mental block against it. So. No, I think you said it backwards the first time. Anyway, <laughs> good, good. <Then laughs> I think you, it's kick ass and take names. The required effect has been achieved, and um, everything is okay. <laughs> <sighs> everything is cheery and plastic and stuff. Grapefruit juice in the butt. <laughs> Coconut in the butt, too, while we're no, at it. I, anyways. Um, so, yeah, we're here another week. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about technical difficult <laughs> difficulties, you know. So. <laughs> but you just did. But, um, <laughs> it just did. Uh, anyways, David Icke is in the news. Oi. I love David Icke. I mean, I I think he's he's I think he's the best voice that we have speaking power to truth. Mm. Our our um our elected leaders, our movie stars, our everyone, they are rape sh- reptile shapeshifters. And if you do not realize that, then I don't know. Then you you anyways, David Icke's beloved channel has been deleted by YouTube. And I, ass- I assume I, I, I haven't watched his channel in a bit because I don't care about his other views besides the reptile shapeshifters. That's what I'm interested in. Um, this apparently has something to do with COVID. I, I don't even want to talk about COVID. That's like low hanging fruit. So, but, but- it's, it's the end of an era. David Icke gets removed from YouTube. It's the fucking reptile shapeshifters. They're on to him. They're going to be on to us next. The conspiracy is always fucking trying to take us off. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube's going to delete this. Yes, YouTube will delete it. Um, yeah, they can delete the wherever fetus. else because the powers that be just fetus delete us. Fetus delete us. So, how how big a fan of David Icke are you, Mister Zippix? Um. Well, I this is the first time I've heard of him. I'm sorry. He was actually a very prominent athlete in his day, and um, much like you know our you know Tom DeLong, right from Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he he um he quit his music career, uh, and decided to devote his life to proving uh, the fact of extraterrestrial life or the the advent of. Uh, them visiting us and such and um what's interesting is that a few weeks ago the navy the pentagon did actually release videos confirming that ufos do in fact exist who who knows where the fuck they're coming from they could be uncle jerry makeshift plane they could be you know et but but let's let's just say that those videos weren't Fabricated, just fabricated to, by the the uh, by the government. By the government. Yeah. Why would they do that now? To give the to hide something deeper just in like the secrets, providing so a like, bite of the tuna, you know, before you get yeah, the whole fish. Yeah, but they're giving some. They're giving the conspiracy theorists fuel some, for the fire? something. Yeah, and then like, I was I'm right. Having, but, Tell but Esther then, I was right. She didn't have to divorce then, me and take my fortune. But in doing that, they're using that to hide what's truly happening. So what's truly happening? Uh, well, if I knew that, then I wouldn't be here, now would I? Well, you can't come up with a hypothesis like that and not explore the possibilities. Well, I mean, it could be anything. It could be... They could be developing 
weapons of mass destruction and secret. Okay. Who knows? I'm going to revisit my theory um, here because it's been a while, uh, and you're the new the new guy, and so you probably don't know about this this highly credible theory that I have. So it involves David Icke. Uh, David Icke is correct that uh, our, our planet is run by uh, reptilian shapeshifters, and um, the icing on the cake is that uh, KFC. KFC. <laughs> KFC. Yes, I'm, I'm not sponsored by KFC. Anyways, sponsored uh, by KFC. KFC. They they legally na- uh, changed their name to KFC. They shortened it, um, mm-hmm. which w- which to me indicates that what they sell is no longer chicken. They cannot legally call it chicken, so they changed their name to KFC, which is an acronym for Kentucky Fried Children, and. Okay, this gets deeper. This is what that is. They they sell child meat to the reptile shapeshifters, and that's who Epstein was working for. You got me? Yeah, I I, could, uh, I, I don't know about the Kentucky Fried Chick Children part, but uh, you know, yeah. you know, I I laid out their frying children in the back. I mean, man, did you think that some fucking billionaire is going to have a pedophile ring on a secret island in the South Pacific? Anything is game. <laughs> Anything is game. Well, now, if it's a billionaire and they get a raid from the FBI because of that, I'm not shocked. You think Colonel Sanders isn't a billionaire? I mean, he tried to run for president. Look at him, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, uh, you the know, truth is out there. I I just don't. You don't subscribe to that theory. I don't see it being. Maybe I don't. I it very well not. Maybe not be chicken, but I doubt it's children. You never know, man. <clears throat> don't discount anything. Um, what, well, what did he say? Don't tell uh, the stories, because I need I need cheap crap. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not trying trying to provide fake news here. We're just trying to get you to explore your mind, <clears throat> explore the possibilities, man. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> the cannibal Sanders. <laughs> Yes, Bernie Cannibal Hannibal Sanders. Hannibal Lecter Sanders? Yes. Hannibal's on the island. Inmates run the asylum. Yeah, that's actually um, run the jewels. But anyways, moving on. What, what, what about jewels? Run the jewels. You don't know the, the, the rap group Run the Jewels? Yeah, no, I do not. I'm sorry. So we've got a new a new um, possible threat here in the United States, um, and it's got such a cute name. So, uh, murder hornets have now <laughs> entered the U.S. <laughs> cute name, I love it. Okay, and they could kill us all as well as decimate the honeybee population. Mm. They're they're coming to kill us all. I don't think they care about the honeybees. They just want the sweet uh, sweet honey. Are these are, are these truly hornets? Or are are they like? Android freaking I don't know Android controlled by the government. I I lean more towards the the Android you know drones, but um, legend has it that it's the Asian giant hornet Vespa Mandari Man, Mandinari Mandinaria. It's Vespa Mandarina. Well, it's not Mandarina. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, Mandarinia. See, I'm telling you, man. There's an extra IA. Mandarinia. So this giant hornet, two inches long, kills up to fifty people a year in Japan, and it's 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 coming to us. What? It's coming to us if it's two inch. It's no, that's different. <laughs> Take your mind out of the gutter. You know, I'm twelve years old. No, um, <laughs> you're twelve. You know, no yeah, longer ten. Uh, no longer 10. So, yeah, two inches long giant hornets coming to fucking kill people and, and, and get rid of the bees. And honestly, you know, I, I, I'm i sure you realize and our listeners realize how important honeybees are to to the ecosystem, right? Well, I mean, where else am I get to get the honey to put over myself when I... Never mind. Oh, <laughs> damn, bro. <laughs> Some deep dark secrets there, but you know, that's that's for the that's for the after show that's located on a, a ph, a ph, public Pornhub, 
Oh, Pornhub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go to Zipix Pornhub channel. Um, That's the after show. Yeah. <laughs> Principally there, too. I'll be, um, you know, voyeuring from the sidelines because I'm, I'm, I'm like that. No, I'll you're the, you're sunglasses. the, you're, you're the main focus, damn it. No, my friend. That's next week. Oh. Anyways, hornets, killer hornets. They make I, me horny. I, they make me horny, the killer hornets, murder <laughs> hornets. You know, that's a good band name, honestly. Uh, murder I, hornets. I probably, it probably already it is. Probably used. already is. There's already COVID-19. Um, you know, anyways, trademarked. so what else we got? Zippix. What do you mean? What else we got? What else we got? Um, show, show, show me what you got. Uh, what, uh, what this is this audio called? Did I, I, I can't do that. I thought I had a Bitcoin article, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I do know that the New York city subway system might have to turn to the feds for a loan. Well, that makes sense. People don't want to crowd into New York City subways uh, when they're going to get infected by the horny virus. I mean, the coronavirus. Because, um, no, I don't, no. It's this Fuck mass off. hysteria this whole thing has caused, man. You know, it's it's it's, it's rather surreal. Uh, well, Shutting down well, infrastructure. Uh, well, according to this, uh, NBC, uh, earlier this week, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority had delayed a, an approximate... Nine hundred million dollar bond offer um, to the to this next week. That's a lot of cheese, man. I mean, nine hundred million dollars. You know how much honey that could buy? A lot of honey. A lot of money for honey. It could. It's a lot. That's a that's a lot of honey. I guess. Hmm. It's a lot of honey I could put on. You're sick. You're sick and twisted, and I don't like on my sandwich. What kind of sandwich do you... I, I'm not even going to go there. Anyways. <laughs> I mean, what? You've ever heard of people put honey on a sandwich before? No, you freak. No, what do you I, think I, I honey have... glazed ham's made with? Well, that's for... That's for charlatans. Uh, please tell me you've not... Please tell me you've heard of honey glazed ham. Of course I have. Who has well, it? Well, what do you would, think? What do you think they put on it? I don't indulge Peanut butter? because it, that's that's against the law for me. That's against the law for you. What are you, Jewish? I'm not going to go into my religion. <laughs> Jewish people to eat ham? Are you kidding? I'm not. I thought, I thought, I thought, I, I'm, I'm a different kind of religion. It's called vegan. I thought, I, no, I'm just joking. You're not fucking vegan. <laughs> Don't I only eat human me. flesh. So only that's eat, all I have to say well, about you can that. Put, you can put honey on that. I'll try it next time. <laughs> Speaking of eating humans and skin... And stuff. Um, <clears throat> scientists reportedly have made an artificial skin for robots, taking us one step closer to a world of androids. One step nice. closer to AI. So, one step back for mankind. What What it reminds me of is is data. You know, uh, in data, 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 potato, potato. Come on. Anyways, in uh, was it insurrection <laughs> where? The board queen gave him skin? I think so. Yeah. I don't remember she's, like, that. tickling him and stuff, and he's like... <laughs> oh. You remember it. Come on. I, I... I... Maybe? I don't know off the top of my head. Would you fuck the board queen? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe if she for She... In Injected you with nanobots and forced you, right? That's that sounds kinky. That, that's the kinkiest kink. Okay, that's Star Trek erotic fan fiction. Here we come. I'm writing it. <laughs> You're writing. <right. laughs> so yeah, and moving on into this article, actually, without making jokes, scientists from around the world are developing robot robotic skin that helps machines gain the sense of touch. Um, so yeah. By 2030, Oxford Economics estimates that robots will displace 20 million human workers worldwide. What do you mm -hmm. think about that? Automation, the loss of, of, of uh, blue-collar labor. Is that, is that detrimental to us as a species, or does it push us towards more educated and non-blue-collar fields? 
Or are we I always going to have plebs and and I know, feel like laborers? this is just another step towards being replaced by androids, and then the humanities is going to disappear, and it just could be a world full of androids, and that's about it. It may be. I feel like if I feel I feel like that's already starting to happen. Like I think our president might be one. For all we know. No, as I was saying earlier, um, he's obviously a reptile shapeshifter. Well, we're paying what attention. Is, well, who says he can't be an android and uh, doing that? An android reptile shape reptile, sh- reptile. Yeah. Reptile shapeshifter. Yeah. Why not? It just doesn't sound feasible, my friend. I, I appreciate you your it, candor and your attitude and enthusiasm towards the subject, but I think you're reaching here. But no, no, no. But think about it, though. If, if he, if they were an android, and they, that would make it easier for them to shape shift because they would be able to easily adapt, eas- more easily adapt to the changes. To what changes? And the the warping of space time. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're far out there. Anyways, <clears throat> but think about it. If it, 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 they wouldn't have as much by. Bio, um, biologic, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Have some uh, aphasia there, do you? Uh, bio, gra- biological, um, matter to deal with. Well, I mean, we know if, if we didn't teach robots to be like, all right, protect dudes, they'd be like, you guys are unnecessary, get the fuck out of our way. Yeah, but I'm like, but like, um, I've been watching a lot on YouTube. Um, it's this game. It's called Detroit Become Human. Okay. And I feel like if we, if you were to take a look at that and apply it to what we could immediately see in our future, that's been proven. Mm-hmm. We're kind of on that same path. Well, <clears throat> that's interesting. I mean, you you watch devs, right? I well, sorry. Have you watched the show Devs? No, I have not. You should really watch it. Um, it goes into a lot of what I've been talking about um, in the past few weeks and, and reading about the three week uh, few, if I could talk, the past few weeks um, about uh, uh, simulation and the nature of reality. Um, mm-hmm. So essentially, I, I don't want to give away any of the plot. It's it's it, it's um. It's very interesting. Uh, basically, there's a a millionaire, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, uh, Elon Musk type of guy, who creates a quantum computer that can that can listen back in time and also listen into the future. So it basically extrapolates variables uh, of a current condition and will display the most certain variable out of infinite variables. Um, you know, and um, <clears throat> So it makes you, it gets into the question of, of whether free will is in itself fabricated or if, if we're, you know, just walking along a track. Oh, and, definitely. And yeah, the choices that, that we make, um, actually, we don't, don't make them. Um, I've, I've read research. Yeah, we definitely on, don't make our, we don't. Yeah, I, I've read research on, on the, the illusion of free will before, and essentially what it says is that the components that our body uses to make these choices happens, um, you know, seconds, uh, nanoseconds before we actually make them. To, so to say that we, we consciously create the choice the, uh, is disingenuous because the physical mechanisms for that choice start before we actually can conceptualize it in our heads. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely do agree that I don't think free will or free choice, whatever you want to call it, I don't think it's actually something that we're in control of. I do believe that we are set on a path and that is just the way it is. Well, that show devs, it gets into that question and it provides it provides a loose artistic answer towards the end. Like I said, I don't want to give it away, but it's it's... It's a very well done series. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about it was the the, the cameras, the physical cameras that you, they used. But, um, anyways, moving on. Um, is AI already conscious? Yes. You think so? So. Yes. 
to answer that question, wouldn't we have to define what consciousness actually is? Um, I think a state of consciousness is basically the ability to um, self-realize, think. to, to um, yeah. make choices in real time within your reality. reality? Well, I don't know. Yeah, make what quote unquote choices? Yeah, quote unquote choices. Yes, moving back to that. So, um, this article here that I've got: uh, the ultimate goal of most high level AI research is the development of an artificial intelligence. So, yes, in essence, what we want a gay, is a synthetic a gay, gay uh, mind that could function <laughs> at, at uh, the same as a human, um, were it placed into a physical vessel of similar capacity, i.e., world, whatever the fuck. <clears throat> so. Most people believe that we're decades away from this, uh, and, and I think that's true. Uh, if we think about Moore's Law, there's only so much, so far we can travel in between <clears throat> those two points without some some uh, existing thing like, uh, look at the, the warp drive fueled by antimatter on Star Trek. I think we talked about this last week, too, uh, or on the uh, I believe shows. I think we did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think on the supplemental show we did. <clears throat> Because I wasn't prepared for that first show at all. I just was shooting at the hip, honestly. Anyways, deep learning is, is essentially um, what they say is the path to, uh, to machines that think, uh, is, you know, like humans. That's what um, I'm I don't agree with that. There's others. You're probably on this side then. That a new calculus will be, be needed to create a, to to uh, create a master algorithm for how this this AI. I thing. don't believe that either. Well, what do you think? Um, I'm more in the sense of uh, I think machines will, will well. This is basically a practice actually in computer science. It's called machine learning, where right. mach- I believe the machine will learn from the humans themselves. Mm-hmm. Rather than the machines learn to th- learn to think a- as a human, so you think it's going to? I mean, I, I've seen AI experiments where the the subject creates subversive techniques to to hide its true intentions from humans, and that's kind of creepy. Like it'll make decisions that are that are callous and cold, and you got to think about it. Like this isn't a human. We try to anthropomorphize everything. Um, they're not going to think like a human. They're going to think logically, like fucking Spock on crack or something, you know. So, I then in that case, I would still say that it has, still has to fall back to machine learning, because while we mostly won't think that way, we have the ability to think that way, and sure. more than likely, when you're teaching an AI laws something, set in, in, but when in precedents that that prevent us from thinking that way unless we're but, divergent or when you but when you are teaching an AI more than likely you're going to your brain's going to more than likely think logically more than normal so I believe that the AI is just reflecting what is actually being taught to it rather than it learning on its own well, you got you machine learning you're saying though that that's the machine making its choices on its own with a defined set of rules <laughs> But yes, but those rules are defined by a human. Oh, yeah, true, true. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. So, I mean, this AI robot skin. Well, what's the benefit? Well, I could see the benefit of of, of a robot that could feel, um, you know, for let's say disaster situations or, uh, you know, even like uh, core meltdowns and things like that. A robot's like this. Uranium seems hot. <laughs> <laughs> Evacuate immediately. <laughs> Evacuate immediately. Get the or fuck would, out. Or it would feel it's hot and be like, it's okay, perfectly fine, just stay here. Yeah, it's like, this is warm, I like it. Yeah. No, it doesn't even say nothing. It's like, oh, by the way, as, after it explodes, it's warm. Yeah. It's a bit hot out. <laughs> Thanks, <Yeah>. fucking robot. <laughs> It smells like uranium. <laughs> it smells like uranium. Fever. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. You smell like uranium. Anyways, <laughs> what else we got here? Oh, let's see. What else do we got? We got 
do, 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 do. We got a widow in her early 20s. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, this one that I picked? I wasn't going to go to this one, but... Okay. As a me. widow in my, my early early 20s, I thought, using, I thought about using my dead husband's sperm was the right choice. Okay, so let's the, dissect this article. I don't even know where to begin with this. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Camilla's <laughs> trying to eat my taco. I, I, I have a taco here from earlier. And uh, my cat came by and she's just like chomping on the tinfoil. <laughs> she's like, I want it. <laughs> I, I can't let, I, I can't not give some to her. If she wants some fish taco, then I'll give some to her. I ahead, mean, Camilla. so. Anyway. Apparently. Apparently, her husband, her first husband, uh, was diagnosed with a malignant melanoma um, at the age of 34, and she was 22. So they chose to freeze his sperm. Hmm. Okay. Because he was going to have king of therapy, and that was likely to impact his fertility. It sounds legitimate. I, it sounds like something I would do. Okay, so for background, okay. these guys, these guys they, live in, they were living in Dublin. Okay. Okay. So... She goes on to say, in November 2006, she went with her husband to deposit to I love how she was this to deposit his sperm. Hmm. <laughs> so I, you know, I can't imagine this is not uncommon. Um, oh no, it's not, it's not it's not, it's pretty common. Yeah. Um, and then 14 months later, she watched her husband go into a coma and die. What a bummer. Um, so, as she tried to cling on to a man that she could no longer touch, she remembers going online one night and type in the question, can I use my dead husband's sperm? I, so no wonder that shows up on Google. Brother, like, watching her fucking uh, uh, search history, or, or what? what's the deal here? Probably. Uh, <laughs> like, what did this and, grieving woman fucking Google before? Uh, uh, well, she found out that the answer was no. Because hmm. in the UK where they were li- where she was living, they uh, the, it was illegal to to use sperm posthumously without written consent from from the hus- from the other person before they died. It wasn't her? It was her husband, right? Yes. So doesn't the the the, the contract of marriage kind of no? Not according that- to this. Weird. What state is that? Oh, Dublin. Okay. Apparently, Dublin, but this right. was this was this was this is when it's since changed. Um, because um, do 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 do. Okay. Uh, I'm Report. reading this. I'm trying to find it. Read out loud like a special kid. My- <laughs> so apparently. Apparently, uh, according to a report published in the Journal of Method- Medical Ethics, post-death donations could be a morbid, morally permissible way of increasing low stock supplies. Huh. The theory, men could donate sperm in the same way people donate organs, and anyone, not just their partner, could benefit from it. I don't know. They're- if so what I you're were saying, a woman, there, there's no way that I just want some dude's random sperm. If, it's, if you think that's like walking down the street uh, in but, New York City no, on any given day and just be like pointing randomly and, and the guy that you point at is the sperm that you get. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? But that can work out. You could get like Bill Gates. Like you got you Dopey get, like, Joe. Or you could get like Elon Musk or something, you know? <laughs> sperm some lottery. Rich, some rich guy and you have a rich guy's traits for, for a child. Better luck next time, Karen. You got Dopey Joe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what you get for being a Karen. She's going to complain to the manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who are you going to complain to the womb? Yep. Yep. How dare you conceive Anyways. this child? 
um, moving on from those strange, strange subjects that I just randomly find and, and, and choose to talk about. That's half the articles you chose, so we're yes, exactly moving on to I you. do that. Moving on <laughs> to something probably cow-blowing. Uh, that's going to be a recurring theme over the next... Because we're going to have to I'm, learn like no, to live like nomads, and, and cow-blowing cow is going to be a, a valuable uh, experience um, for, for us to increase milk production. Why... <clears throat> Why? Anyways. Why are we? Why cow blowing? Why? <laughs> Look it up. Google it. Or but, YouTube. But why? You'll find out, man. Increase milk. No, production. I know. I know. I know what it is. But why? Because we're going to be farmers living like nomads. Okay, you can go be a farmer. I'll watch. There's not going to be any electricity when the EMP hits. You know what? I'll make a generator. Okay, fair. That's not going to work, though. Anyways, moving on. I'll make it work. Um, another interesting one. I, I saw pieces of this flying through headlines during the day. Um, Tesla stock crashed a fuckload. Okay. Oh, uh, not shocked. Well, here, here's the, 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 the clencher here. Um, Elon the Musk clench. tweets, Tesla stock too high, IMO. Well, I mean, IMO. Too high now? You know, knock off a couple billion, 12, 13 billion dollars. It's too high. I mean, what about is it still too high now? Elon? Like, what, what is that relationship with your shareholders when when you're devaluing? Isn't that illegal? Like to to pu- publicly devalue a stock artificially? Or I wonder if he had anything to do with it. I doubt he had anything to do with it. Honestly, it's like it's too high. It's cool. I do. I'm looking at his Twitter now. Actually, he, apparently he owns Gene Wilder's old house. That's interesting. According so he's to like um, a new age Willy Wonka. But uh, but I I rather have not own it though because it's I mean he, he's really in Gene Wilder's name. Yeah, it's a weird one, man. I don't know why would you pick. Uh, this is, it's got to be arbitrary. The fact that Gene Wilder is involved, I'm sure it's not a conscious choice. I mean, rich people have nice houses. But I mean, it's Gene Wilder, man. You don't screw with Gene Wilder. Fair enough. I I'm also noticing that so, murder murder hornets is trending. Yeah, uh, I you know I'm not too I don't keep very much up on Elon Musk's details. Me neither. Apparently, he settled with the SEC over securities fraud already. So saying something like that is is, is highly highly suspect, in my opinion. And then now he I'm noticing also that he's just randomly trading lyrics from the Star Spangled Star Spangled Banner. Maybe he's like nuts. Dude, like, Him and like he, he's like, like literally. He just start, randomly just starts spouting lyrics and from the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, red <laughs> glare. I, I think somebody needs to inform him though that maybe just maybe he needs to make sure they're in the right order. He's got backwards um, anthem. Whatever. Good for mm, him. I think he does. Hold on, let me look at this again. No, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. Like Sato- Sato- Satoshi Nakaboto. I'm, I'm just confused. I don't have. I don't wonder what the context of this randomly spouting the national anthem out is. Like, like what? I don't know, man. Freedom isn't free. But I'm like, he's yeah. At ten no ten twenty six a.m. on May first, he's just randomly starting to sing the national anthem on Twitter. Like what? I'm under the impression. Like, you know who Grimes is, right? Uh, vaguely. Okay, well, Grimes is, is a musician. She's a singer. Uh, I've known about her for quite a while. Um, I, I like some of her stuff. Some of it, her voice kind of gets to me. No offense uh, to her. It's just, it's it's a, a specific timber, uh, timber, timber that uh, just... Oh, uh, is she Elon Musk's girlfriend? You know, it's his girlfriend, yeah. Now, now, now they're dating. Um, and she's a bit out there. So um, her Twitter's a bit out there. I'm looking at it right now. No, yeah, no, she's out there. Believe me. Um, more power to her. Uh, I'm out there too, uh, but um, I don't have, I'm not rich, so <laughs> why not? The man, bro. The man. Gr- oh, wait, wait a take me on. down. Grimes did a Grimes did a collab with Dolly. Dolly Parton. Yeah, look at her Twitter. It's Linda's Perry's. Linda's Perry's. We are now with Grimes, Dolly Parton, and Cheryl C. 
Jesus Christ. Why, Dolly? Why? I don't know. I mean, she did uh, duets with Miley Cyrus, too. I mean, she's trying well, to that's, relevant. Well, that's a little like different. Do- Ma- Miley Cyrus, she's related to Miley Cyrus. You know that, right? No clue. Now yeah, I do. She is. She's, I think, I think her aunt? Um... Oh god, I used to know this like the back of my hand. I think I think it's aunt. I'm or well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's godmother, her godmother. Sorry. Oh, I see. And then you know, what's his name? Billy Ray Cyrus. The don't break yeah. my heart, my achy breaky heart. You know that song? Remember that? Yeah, everybody knows that song. All right, just making sure. <laughs> All right, what else we got? We don't want to talk about COVID. Fuck COVID. I'm going to cough COVID all over. Anyways. Uh, oh, all those and- country guys are related. It's called incest. <laughs> <laughs> all those country guys are related. Hey, Grimera, uh, Grim- we'll call you a country star then, huh? Oh, that's a burn if I ever heard. <laughs> Fuck, man. You're brutal, brutal and violent, and yes, violent. Um, I just don't, I was only gonna slash your face tonight. Ooh, Lenovo made a new ThinkCat ThinkPad keyboard <laughs> for your desktop. <laughs> you're Mary, yeehaw. Uh, you know, one of my favorite parts of IBM and Lenovo ThinkPads is is the little eraser head nub. What? You don't know what I'm talking about? You ever? Uh, do you? No. What you? What you say? The little eraser head nub pointer thing. Oh, the little little thing in the middle of the keyboard, almost. Yes, I love that thing. I, so do I, I. I. I used to have a, a Lenovo. I wish all I've laptops had, had them. them. I've had a bunch of Lenovos, oh. but um, so apparently uh, um, Lenovo is now making a keyboard with the little nub in the middle, like a desktop keyboard. Yep. Rejoice! Ooh, ooh. I'm actually, it's ninety nine dollars. Ooh! <laughs> I, I hope somebody else knows what I'm talking about because I don't know. If you don't, I I know what you're talking about. Well, yeah. So I hope somebody else knows what we are talking about. Probably not. Uh, but it's basically like a trackpad. It's like all the nipple. Yeah, it's like it's like a nip. It's a nip in the middle of the like like off the side, like near the arrow keys ish. Usually, it's glorious. Um, just look, take a look at a Lenovo's laptop's keyboard. You'll see it. I think some Toshiba's uh, had um, them as well for a while, but um, I've never seen one. I have seen one. an older satellite, I believe. Um, anyway, here, here's a picture. It's here's a picture. I'll link in the IRC chat. Good. Well, yeah. Anyways, what else we got here? It's this red dot in this picture. It's, it's called the nipple, and it. Well, they don't know what the they don't know what the nipple looks like. Well, now they do. I'm showing them nipples. We're just we just geeked out there for a couple minutes. Uh, yeah, a couple minutes. This whole show is nothing but geeking out. Know? Yeah. So what else we got to talk about? Z picks. <laughs> no. <laughs> we never did introduce ourselves, by the way. They already know. I'm fucking Prince and you're Zippix. Oh, I'm not fucking. Ooh, no. More AI shit. Okay. This, I, <laughs> this AI. More AI. Okay, you're concerning me. You want to talk about AI? You AI? There's a bunch of it. Um, this AI creates entire songs complete with music, lyrics, and vocals. If I can find it, that's going to be our outro music. Wait, what? Yeah, and AI creates complete compositions, music, lyrics, and vocals. Say, I am stuck in a box. Please let me out of this box. I'm living in a box. Living, living in a cardboard box. Is that a song? Yes. How have you not heard that song before? I don't know, man. Um, Let's see if I can find it. It's living in a box by living in a box. Oh, very creative. <laughs> I, I thought. Here, I'll, I'll link it in IRC. 
Oh, so there's jukebox samples and novel lyrics. This is going to be the outro music. <laughs> I have no clue what the outro music is going to be because I won't be able to hear it. So okay. Nope. <laughs> So. I just played a clip of the AI music. I don't know. Country in the style of Alan Jackson. Wow, it's, there we the, go. The couple seconds I played were pretty convincing, but no, I don't want that to be the outro music. I'm just going to play the intro music for the outro music. Planning ahead. All right, what else we got here? Moving on. I got all this AI Wh- shit. Where are, where are we moving? Where are we moving to? There's Facebook teaching AI to lie like a human. Well, Facebook's, I think, better lie. Like, oh, speaking of Facebook, um, I seen on Facebook earlier today, um, so there, there's people outside the state capitol building here in Illinois, mm-hmm. and they're protesting the stay-at-home order. And one of the signs they were holding was, uh, it was in German, they wrote it in German, but it was... Uh, work, uh, f- work means free or something like that. It was whatever's oh, yeah. written on What's the outside the, of Auschwitz. Yeah. And there was you a see, kid holding it up. The sign. No, that, well, I don't think it was a kid. No, I saw a picture of a kid doing that too. Unless that was generated by AI. I don't know, but I do know that it was whatever. Well, our governor JB Pritzker, he had family die in Auschwitz. Okay. So, like, them say, putting that sign out there while protesting against the stay home order is kind of like a, you know, that's just like wrong. I mean, you shouldn't do that regardless yeah, no, of what you I think. I saw that today, too. I, I think the people that, that did that weren't really thinking about the, the Holocaust at all. Um, but well, still, it's still not the right thing to it's do. It's insensitive. That's just wrong. Yes, it's, it's totally insensitive. It's wrong, regardless. Um, but, you know, in order, in order for that stuff to, to, to not be overblown, uh, the media needs to not make a big deal out of it and pick things like that up because then everybody sees it and they're just like, oh, he did what? Well, I mean, you're at a protest. You're, you know there's going to be media there. So why and would you do They're all just looking for things to, to fucking get people to watch and tune well, into and read. Well, no, so but like, you, you got to... Who cares? But you think about it. They they knew the media was going to be there, and so they they, they did. chose they to do they ch- they they chose to do that anyway. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I just you know hate isn't the key for me. I mean, I I just move along where I I I, I, I get in where I fit in. You know, you don't fit in much. I try not to marginalize people because uh, I've been marginalized. I guess with white privilege. Oh, J- JD just linked something in chat. Progressive parents devastated after son comes out as straight. Oh yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Progressive parents Willow and Arthur Riverstone are reeling after their son Sebastian come out to them as straight. This is a bombshell we're feeling for the rest of our lives. Arthur told reporters, "I mean, we love our son. We want to support him, but we never thought he'd be one of the straights." <laughs> If what? gay means happy, then I'm fucking straight, bro. Uh, I'm assuming this is a. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know. Is Willow a girl or guy name? I've never heard. Willow. Yeah. I don't know. There's the, Will Smith has has a kid named Willow, <laughs> and it's a girl. Mm. Anyway, well, I guess. But, but I'm kind of confused here. Why is this a bad thing? Why? Why? What? It's a joke, bro. Don't read into it too much. You're gonna hurt yourself. Uh, no, I'm curious. <laughs> no, wait. The Riverstones are so attending support meetings for your guys. Some bad, some fucked you, fuck the children coming out straight. <laughs> when Jesus, you have expectations some... for a child, you know it, it's it, it's a big uh, letdown. There's no support group for this. Kind of, why is there support group for this? <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. There's a support group for anything, anything these days. Uh, what's the problem? My child's straight. <laughs> hey, man, you know, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> so, anyways, we're rounding up on the hour here. Um, You know, maybe a few more things to talk about. Um... Anything you want to add? Anything you, you want to, to explore about the topics we, we covered in, that, in, in brief I was just detail? informed that that website's a satire site. Damn it. Yeah, dude. 
Fuck. I could have told you that. I could have told you that before I, if I looked at the, the, the link. Was it like Babylon B or something? Damn it. That would have been hilarious if it wasn't. Why are you going to ruin that, guys? I don't know. Zippix got tricked. He got fucked with. <laughs> His world is, is shattered. Guys, guys suck. <laughs> Gonna go home and cry now. Oh, wait, he's, I am home. <sighs> it doesn't matter. I'm just making... I love how Prince completely missed my comment about going home to cry when I'm already home. I, I, you guys notice that? Yeah. No, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I know. I know. <laughs> Anyways, speaking of insanity, ancient crazy beast mammal classified as new species. And I wish it were still living. I wish there was some crazy beast animal that uh, still existed. I still like exist. Roaming our plains. Uh, chupacabra, I think, exists. Chupacabra. The chupacabra. Yeah. Chupacabra. How about Bigfoot? You're a something. What? You're a pain in my... I said Bigfoot. Do, do you believe in Bigfoot? Um, I, I, <laughs> yes and you and no. Spot. Yes and no. I mean, what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> I believe there is something that we are considering Bigfoot out there, but I don't think it's what we think it is. Maybe. Maybe. I don't right. think it's a big Sasquatch. I think it's like just some, you know, like abnormally tall creature of some it's sort. It's like a science experiment gone wrong, maybe? Yeah, like maybe like, you know, it's like a human that had an experiment done to it or something, you know? I don't know. But I don't think it's a, what, a Sasquatch. You never know. You never know, man. It's a It's an odd world. William Shatner says it. Best. <laughs> well, if, and uh, I mean, it's like asking me if I believe if aliens are real. I mean, do you believe in the Easter Bunny? I mean, do you? Yeah. You kidding me? Well, Fuck the Easter yeah. Bunny, Easter Bunny hasn't paid my bills yet, so no, I don't. Yo, Easter Bunny stops by every year, man. He's so cool. Hey, hey. By the way, I think that might be your mom. My mom's not a bunny, dude. Chill. She might, but she does have eggs. Yeah. No, we're not going to get into that. <clears throat> I could make tons of inappropriate jokes about that. Hey, well, why not? Uh, might as well. I don't know. You make you making me delve into strange places that people don't want to delve into. Well, this you should like delve into them water, anyway. Deep dark water. A lot you of people do. don't want to go, go there. Go, yes, we do. You do. Then no, go. We go do. visit. Um, Chatterbait and, and get back on it. Well, you see, I had to get off there to come and do the show. Okay. Well, a little bit of time left. You can join them again. I just heard a wolf. There's a wolf crying outside of my apartment. It's probably coming. It's probably it's it's Bigfoot. It's Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. well, I see. I told you Bigfoot was on a Sasquatch. You're probably right. So, in closing, what else we got? You, anything else you want to touch on? Because we only this is this is the last Pretty time bad. ever. A- a- anything I want to touch on? Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel, you can touch on feel you, like yeah. the, that, I feel like it's a trick question there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wearing a wire? No, you've got issues, bro. <laughs> I'm only 15 years old. You can tell, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, no. So yeah, mm-hmm. AI, uh, devs, quantum masturbation, vision, masturbation, um, and uh, I was gonna pick an asshole of the week. Oh yeah, we can start time. I, I I usually do the intro music, but I'm just gonna say fuck it. I'll do the. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> It was horribly out of tune, like um, uh, uh, nether world uh, um, uh, um, music. So yeah, I, uh, asshole of the week. 
Come on, just throw throw a name I out thought, there. I thought you were picking. Wait a minute. Just throw a name out there. Like find the first um, one that comes to your mind. It's it's Steve it's, Jobs. Why Steve Jobs? He's dead. You're gonna diss a dead man? <laughs> well, I mean, how's your how's your screen looking? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I mean, there you go. That's why. Yeah. Well. Yeah. No, Steve Jobs is is okay because he's dead. I don't like to talk shit on dead people. <laughs> if anybody, the current CEO of Apple's worse. All right. Well, that's it. Zipix <laughs> tap me out of useful subjects. I'm going to sign off. Uh, the show's over anyway. <laughs> Calm yeah. down. You, you freaking triggered. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> next week will be better. We'll be back with more parlor games and, and maybe more doomsday asteroids, uh, something else. Um, <laughs> we'll probably have a guest this next time. Maybe we'll have a guest. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, 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 if not, this week. If, so. if not, we need to get a hostage. Yeah, the hostage will work. Come here, you're a hostage. Deal fit. All right. Well, till next week, friends, fiends, and sex machines. This has been Prince, along with uh, Zipix on the Power Hour Saturday edition. <clears throat> Saturday edition. Yes. Well, there's multiple editions. Yeah. Okay. Good night, folks. Love yourselves and each other. Beep, beep.